Good to see you again, Inquisitor. Allow me to introduce Professor Bram Kenrick. He's the reason we're out here. A pleasure to meet you, Your Worship. Professor Kenrick teaches at the University of Orlais. I came on an exchange program from Starkhaven. While in Val Royo, I found something incredible. After 800 years, we may be able to determine the final resting place of the last Inquisitor. That would be a fascinating discovery. Inquisitor Emeridan stepped down shortly before the Navarran Accord brought the Seekers of Truth into the Chantry. He hunted demons, dragons, and dangerous apostates in a time before Templars even existed. I'm all for history if it means tracking down the equipment of a famous demon hunter. If the last Inquisitor has been missing for 800 years, it's only fitting that today's Inquisition helped find him. Your scouts have gathered artifacts from the area. They may help us discover what Inquisitor Emeridan was doing. I have news as well. We've encountered hostile Avar to the north. They call themselves the Jaws of Hakon. There's also an Avar hold to the east. Unlike the Jaws of Hakon, they've been friendly so far. The Jaws of Hakon? They're hostile Avar who attack any Inquisition agents or researchers who get close. We've sent soldiers for defense, but the Hakonites are cunning, merciless, and know the Basin better than we do. I'm afraid our men will not be able to hold out long. I thought we could catch up. Anytime, Inquisitor. Have you spoken to Kenrick much? A bit. He's quite nice, isn't he? 
and clever, really loves his books. I said hello one day while he had his nose buried in a giant tome. His shriek was a winner. I can't stop doing it now. <laughs> it's too funny. I hear you have family in Pharrell. Yes, my mother and father. I insisted they move to Denerim once I signed up with the Inquisition. Ambassador Montelier tells me I should invite them to Skyhold. She thinks they'd be proud of me. But after Haven, I, I just can't, you know? It's not that I don't trust you or our soldiers. It's just, I just want them to be safe. And if that means they don't get to see things firsthand, that's okay. My mother likes writing letters anyway. What do you think about the Avar? When I was a little girl, a lady in our village used to tell me Avar tales. Being able to see their lives up close, it's nothing like I thought. They're very tall, aren't they? I was considering a proposal for Commander Cullen. Avar allies with dwarven archers astride their shoulders. Oh, I like the way she thinks. We should keep her around. Oh, me. Yes, mayhem. Let's not start with mayhem. Mayhem? No. We'll continue this another time. Be careful out there. <laughs> 